what you are going to witness today is a tale of a disease that has baffled the scientific community for over a century and have failed every possible scientific research and intervention undertaken till date. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most common neurodegenerative diseases affecting millions worldwide. Under my supervision at the Department of Zoology, University of Kalyani, we are trying to screen for novel phytocompounds with efforts to possibly fish out putative drug candidates of clinical relevance and use nanotechnology, advanced genomics, molecular docking studies and next generation molecular technologies in accordance with clinical data to find an effective cure for Alzheimer's disease. In this publication, we have screened the most potential phytocompounds and have summarized their modalities and possible mechanism of action in context to the development of Alzheimer's disease therapy. There are two major aspects of Alzheimer's disease research. First is the characterization and clearance of protein packs and second is the fundamental understanding of the cellular and molecular dynamics of the disease operating in you. Apart from the hallmark proteins, beta amyloid and hyperphosphorylated tau, few other proteins have been found to play crucial role like ADAU10, acetyl and butyl cholinesterase, MG83, matrix metalloproteinase 1, 3 and 9, EPAR gamma, GSK3 beta and postsynaptic density protein 95 and expressional modulation of these proteins either in terms of upregulation or downregulation has been found to be of great significance and therapeutic advantage. So with the aging population around the world, Alzheimer disease prevalence has significantly increased. With this paper, we provide an insight into current medications and drugs which play an important role in controlling the progressiveness of the disease. Beta-amyloid-mediated ROS generation and successive inflammation happens to be a critical aspect, promoting neuronal degeneration. Flavonoids and other phenolic and polyphenolic compounds like quercetin, ferulic acid, carnosic acid, cafestol, gamma tocopherol, theaflavins, etc. have been found to be very promising in preventing ROS-mediated damage by selectively scavenging harmful free radicals. When we observe the clinical implications, we find that the synaptobolomic changes in terms of decreased availability of neurotransmitters like GABA, acetylcholine, dopamine and serotonin and the downregulation of receptors like GABA-A receptor and 5-hydroxytryptamine-1A receptor are two very important factors that cannot be ignored. And phytotherapy can prove to be helpful by controlling the expression of these vital factors. In silico molecular docking is a very powerful tool for understanding the interaction or binding modalities of phytocompounds with the targeted protein candidates. From this molecular docking and artificial simulation studies, we can actually predict how a phytocompound is interacting and underlying factors favoring the interaction when projected on spatial temporal scale. For example, vidanamide A, isolated from a common Ayurvedic medicinal plant, Vidania somnifera, has been found to bind to the active motif of amyloid beta peptide between glycine 25 and methionine 35 amino acid residues, wherein the protein protein hydrophobic interactions become weaker compared to that between the protein and vidanamide, thereby helping in weakening and disruption of the robust fibrillar plaque structure. Cholinesterase inhibitors and the NMDA receptor antagonists are in recent practices. However, their medical successes are yet to be resolved, owing to variation in clinical findings. Similarly, passive immunization therapy using humanized monoclonal anti tau and anti amyloid antibodies have limited efficacy and have failed clinical trial, thereby 
demanding new alternative therapeutic approaches. Hi, I am Dr. Shishin Nandi, Professor and HOD, Global Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. Our CAD laboratory is devoted for drug design and discovery research. In collaboration with Dr. Oswita Samadha, Cyanogenetic Laboratory, Poland University, we have explored various crucial targets and natural components to combat Alzheimer's disease, which is a very complicated CNS disorder characterized by memory loss due to loss of acetyl choline in the brain. There are many uh, synthetic drugs such as Evastimine, Donepagin are available, but no permanent solution came till date due to drug resistance and toxicity. Therefore, naturopathy by using Brahmi, Tulsi, coffee, tea, Midania, Jingo are given along with the synthetic drugs to linger the healthy brain of Alzheimer's patient. The present study entitled Current Naturopathy to Combat Alzheimer's Disease critically addresses its preclinical aspects and investigates new phytotherapeutic avenues which could be used as a promising tool to selectively target and modulate essential protein candidates based on in silico molecular docking coupled experimental approach. 